Okay, so here we go. We are going to do a little bit of uh, setup with XPatter. XPatter can probably be one of the most painful parts of getting your hyperspin um, setup running. So what I've got open is uh, the XPatter file, which is going to be D Arcade Tools XPatter, and uh, I got a couple things else open in the devices and printers. We've got the controller settings open. So what we can do now is uh, I just hooked this Xbox controller up for the first time. So we're going to open a profile or a controller I should say. Player 1 controller Xbox which loads all of the uh, the buttons which associates with the button presses no matter what. But uh, as you can see there's no letters or numbers or anything which is a uh, going to create problems. So then we'll load in player 1. Or actually let's load 360. Now this setup here is exactly how we want it. Comma, start, ZX, VC. And we want these to correspond um, or we're going to learn a little bit how to make things correspond better um, according to the Xbox controller. That's why we've got both of these open. We've got the gamepad properties open and this open. So when I hit the A button on the Xbox controller you see both button 1 and Z light up. So regardless of what controller you're using, if it is possible to set your uh, button that's the button 1 in Windows first as the Z in X pattern, you may be able to get your system to play um, games with Xbox controls enabled by default on your controller instead of XPatter. Because what XPatter does is it takes that button 1 and X, uh, outputs the letter Z. So a couple of these buttons have alternative functions. For instance, the period. If we click on this, you see how there's kind of a little, like a little no symbol there? that's because it has multiple functions so to find out what those other functions are you click on advance and when you look up here um, you'll see that there's a period and then this little yellow thing right here it's actually a release zone so if I press and release this after uh, 1.10 seconds it'll send the alt F command and same thing with the comma which typically I actually have those reversed. I like the start button to be the escape, but this is just for example so that you can start learning what the problems with XPatter will be. So this is my default setup for my hyperspin installation. So um, um, we can close out of these. Close this and this. Oops. Okay. Um, because I'm working on getting this one set up for uh, rocket launcher, we're going to go into my master drive, arcade, hyperlaunch, hyperlaunch HQ, like launch hyperlaunch HQ. And what we're going to look for in here is for any systems that are actually set up to run a different profile than the default. Because you've got two ways that um, it's going to launch a different profile is either A when you go into a game or B when you exit it and go back to hyperspin. And so um, which is going to be on this key mapper tab. If you're on, on, on global um, see how we've got this one right here that says hyperspin player one so this is going to be the default when it launches back into hyperspin so if we click on the edit selected file it will open the profile that it's going to load when you go back into hyperspin so if you need to edit this with your uh, your controller now this is a, a Xbox 360 controller which the arcade is set up for by default and uh, the appropriate settings which we'll get into a, at a different time but some of these um, I believe should still have 
see down here where there's these uh, these are for just that system and where it says controller gamepad because it's a generic 360 controller not an official one controller gamepad so if I were to edit this one this is see how there's some stuff missing here this is just for the system so when you launch the Nintendo Entertainment System this is the profile that it's going to load so if you want your something system specific uh, to load this is this is where it's going to be at and say for instance you want this for uh, uh, one of the pinball games like visual pinball you'll be able to see that this has a different profile as well and that's just because each and every emulator is going to have defaults that map to different buttons like P and uh, MAME is pause whereas P might be the start button in another emulator so that's where that would come into play so for right now we're gonna break off this video and possibly append it to another one but for right now it's gonna be all by itself